Gentlemen, prepare to have your minds ripped apart at the seams. Brace yourself for undeniable proof that the very fabric of reality is nothing more than a sinister mirage. Behold the truth! A cardboard box? Dude, what is wrong with you? I'm using it to illustrate a thought experiment known as Schrodinger's cat. Schroeder didn't have a cat, dude. He had a piano. You thinking about Linus? No, Linus had the blanket. Maybe Charlie Brown had the cat? Charlie Brown had the football. No, no, no. Charlie Brown ain't never had a football. That dirty Lucy was always pulling it away. And I will never forgive her for that. Stop talking about peanuts! Now, Beast Boy, would you mind turning into a cat? For sure, Pops. Great. Get in the box. I ain't going in no box. Come on, it's a harmless thought experiment. Uh-uh-uh. In the box. No, no, put it out. I don't want to. Now that the cat is in the box, we'll move on to the next step. Yo, why is there acid in here? I don't like where this is going. Again, this is simply a thought experiment. This box contains not only the vial of acid, but a deadly radioactive substance. If a single atom of the substance decays during the test period, a relay mechanism will trip a hammer, which will in turn break the vial, and the cat will perish. Until the box is opened, we don't know if the cat is alive or dead. He's dead. No, Raven, according to quantum law, he's both until we open the box. No, he is the dead for the real real. Yeah, ignore the ghost! The box is closed, so he exists in both states simultaneously. Ooh, I'm definitely dead, bruh. Good thing we got that paradox. You are ruining my explanations of superpositions! Superpositions! What are you up to this time, Hive? Something evil, that's for sure. They won't get away with it this time. Let's get a closer look. <gasps> Sweet. Tasty. Hooray. Yippee. Those sickos are having an ice cream social. Them bad guys don't deserve an ice cream after being such bad guys all the time. See, we remind them of their place in society. We must crush the villain scum criminals into the dirt where they are belonging! That's the spirit star, Titan! Ah! This is Rabbit Rugly! We were just eating ice cream! Quiet, criminal! Maybe next time you'll think twice before acting like a normal member of society. <laughs> Hey, how about uh, you and me blow this uh, popsicle stand and find the somewhere else a little more interesting? <laughs> oh, Scoop. Yo, Star, what you got there? The nothing. Wait, you're not trying to befriend another inanimate object, are you? Oh, no, no. This is the evidence item that can be used to incriminate the hive. That could put those creeps in jail for years. Better bag it and tag it. No! 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 The thank you. The thank you. I will do the carrying. Thank you very much. Are you sure you're not? Thank you very much! Isn't this amazing? Oh, no. 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 I'm feeling parched. Oh, it's so heavy. Why's I gotta be the dirty mule? does not look the same. Sometimes you gotta live life on the edge to live life to the fullest. You go first, then. Gladly. Now watch as I grab life by the... <laughs> I think he's okay. One life! We made it to the bottom in record time. Great job, Titans. Now do you understand the satisfaction that comes with challenging yourself? <laughs> It's great to hear. Tomorrow we'll take on the river itself. A poetic battle, man against nature, waged across time. 
Well, that poetry battle can wait. I got to use the little boy's room. It's right here. Uh, that's a suitcase, bruh. It's not a suitcase. It's a Groover. Hello, friend Grover. It is the so nice to meet you. It's a Groover, and it's not a person. And you probably don't want to touch it. Will you just tell us where the bathroom is? You're looking at it. All right, man, holds up. And let's get this straight. You just want me to poop in a suitcase? We will all be pooping in it. And it is not a suitcase. That is exactly what it is. It's a poop suitcase. This is the great outdoors. There are no bathrooms. So we have to bring our own. You said this trip was to challenge us, man. And I'm challenging you to poop in a box. It's unreasonable for us to do our business in a businessman's suitcase, fool. I ain't no dookie CEO. You have no choice. And in related news, tonight I'm making tostadas. I hate everything about this. First, heed this warning. To turn us into monsters, I'll be tampering with forces I don't fully control. Well, that warning is way too vague to concern me. Yeah, totes, too vague. All that matters tonight is that we are scary. I do wish to say the boo boo boo. <sighs> Very well. Magic us up, Mama! Come on! Azeroth Metrion. <laughs> so this guy, Victor Frankenstein, makes this big old monster man out of a bunch of dead dudes. But he doesn't give the monster a name. That is messed up. He could have named him something like, I don't know, how about Carl? So I'd be walking on through a spooky forest when I sees this weird old dog. And I was like, oh, what up, dog? And the dog missed me. No bigs. But I didn't know that that dog had them moon rabies. Oh, no! I got them moon rabies! It is a full moon! Rah! I'm a werewolf, baby! Oh! Vampires are the strongest, most famous, most suave, and good-looking of all monsters. You'd better watch out for Dracula. Blah! This is the scary story of the mummy. Ooh. Being the busy mummy was very time consuming. She had to work all of the day and care for the baby all of the night. Because of the time constraints, her meals were of the fast foods, which gave her the irritable bowel syndrome. <sighs> And so she wrapped herself in the toilet tissues so she would always have some on hand in case of the bathroom emergency. I am your mummy. Okay, this is running long, so I'm just gonna get to it. I'm the invisible woman. That ain't even scary. Ow! We can't even see ya. <laughs> ah! 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 Scary enough for you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why are you playing me? Shh, 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 shh. Little guy might be asleep in there. Classical music is good for babies. Everyone knows that. Oh, I think it's my turn to sit on it. Bring more pillows. The fluffiest you can find. Shh, 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 shh. Don't fret, Robin is here for you. Robin loves you. Robin cares so much. My turn! Oh, you are so the precious. Uh, are you sure I should be sitting on this thing? Oh no! Oh no, I broke it! I broke it! Oh, I knew I wasn't cut out for this uncle stuff! Phew! Hang on, little guy! Keep it together! Ah! Hold on, friends! The breaking out of the chicken has begun! It's hatching! Phew! Beast Boy wasn't here for it. Big shocker there. Come on, little guy. You can come out. Your family is waiting for you just outside that shell. Witness the glorious miracle of life in action. It is the cute! Meh. Welcome home, little fella. You are so, so precious. <laughs> I'll never forget this day, yo! Well, of course you won't. Kangaroo Welter Weight Boxing Champion Chip! Booyah! Hello! Your son just hatched! This baby needs a father figure. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Not only have we been denied the permits of building, I saw no obese felines in the Hall of the City. That city inspector is a real butt. I guess it's rubble living from here on out. Who wants some rubble cake? No rubble food! I've got another plan. If we can't build, we can buy. On this episode of Home Hawks. Today, we'll be looking at T-shaped buildings in the area that are in our price range and meet all of our demands. My ideal home must be close to the centers for learning. But not too close. The sound of children laughing creeps me out. <laughs> and with an easy commute, I ain't about to spend two hours in traffic every day. This also has to be close to them bird sanctuaries so I can continue my orthonomological studies. <laughs> These properties have all that and more. Now, I present to you option one. This quaint little love nest is a bit of a fixer-upper. It is the vile. This place might be haunted, yo. Let's hope so. Think of how much we'll save on the down payment. Ah! It appears to be the crime scene. Was someone dismembered here? It's a poltergeist! This is horrible! Horrible! Keep in mind that buying a haunted dump like this and doing your own renovations is the best way to save money and increase your home's value. No! <sighs> Fine, if you want to waste your money, we'll move on to option two. This classy abode has an elegant yet timeless look. It's move-in ready and fully furnished. The tile is not to my liking! The decor is making me sick! The walls be a color I don't like! This is horrible! Horrible! These are simple fixes. You can easily repaint or pick new tile. No! Ah, very well, we'll move on to option three. This exquisitely shaped home but Hold up! This don't look like a T. That's because it's an R. Well, there are only so many T-shaped buildings. I refuse to live in the inappropriate letter-shaped building! Well, the R could stand for Robin. No! Fine, we'll go back to the disgusting rubble pile. You mean if the hive wins, nothing will change at all? Life will go on exactly as it is now? The outcome of the contest will have no impact upon the future? I'm afraid so. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Titans! There's absolutely nothing at stake! We can't lose our goal! We need an opening number to put us on top! Friends, perhaps it is time to use our secret weapon, the me. No. We ain't that desperate yet, Ringo. We're going with the solid gold hits. That's right, a classic dance known as, wait for it, the Moody Scooty. Coming up, the Teen Titans will perform a dance they made famous. But first, the Hive is going to do that same dance. What? They's doing our dance? This is an outrage! An outrage! They're cheating! Peep the rule book, yo! I will not peep the rule book, yo! They can't do this! You got it twisted, yo! They can, and they are! Check it to check it! Scoot your booty, that booty, and I do the booty scooty! Scoot your booty, that booty, and I do the booty scooty! Scoot, 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 that booty booty! Scoot, scoot, scoot! Scoot your booty, that booty, and I do the booty scooty. Scoot your booty, that booty, and I do the booty scooty. What, what? Simple fresh moves by the hive. Not sure I'd want to bite their style and follow that dance with the same dance. We knew you would cheat. What are you talking about? That was our dance. Really? What a funny coincidence. It ain't funny, it was a coincidence. It is clear evidence of some cheatery shenanigans. Yeah, we did their dance. Someone should tell them they don't own the booty scooty. I don't see their names on these booties. Cheat all day, cheat all night. <gasps> what is she doing? No, 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 no. What you got for us, homegirl? Mr. Rang, I shall perform the special song that makes the happy feelings. Oh, man, this is gonna be a train wreck. Give it up, y'all! I am the Ringo. <laughs> Hollywood at 
with my girls. Pulling up in these fancy cars, getting treated all night like superstars. We love these flashing lights, star studded crazy nights. Diving into the seas full of cash, living this high life ain't so bad. a hard time picking a winner after that performance? Not! Wow, who knew? That girl is full of surprises. I am so the happy that I was able to share my special song. <laughs> the judges have made their decision. It's time to find out who will win the title of second greatest team in the DC Universe. Envelope, please. And our winners are... was the plan, right? Wow, look at these pants. That was totally radical. Dude, you're like totally a nerd, bro. I know, before nerds were cool, huh? Radical hair star. The like, thanks, you look the bodacious. I am loving the snug fit of these 80s jeans. <laughs> this wedgie is going nowhere. I told you, the 80s ruled. <laughs> Fresh fashion doesn't make up for the lack of technology. We still have to find our way to the mall. No probs, dude. I'll get us a ride share. Oh, will you? No cell phones, remember? Ugh, how are you supposed to get anywhere without a ride share? Aren't you forgetting about the most iconic form of travel in the 80s? He's on fire! Yes, I am loving this workout. Cardio! Check out this jump. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, you got some max air, mama. <laughs> I totally forgot how much fun this is. Why did the modern children not partake of the wild good bicycle riding? Kids still ride bikes, just in safe places like cul-de-sacs or in closed backyards, skate parks with elbow pads. <laughs> 80s kids was like them free-range chickens, bro. Still think the 80s were lame, huh? <laughs> I will admit the bike situation is much more radical, but I won't admit defeat until you make it to the mall and buy that album. By the way, where is that mall? I'll get directions. Oh, right, no cell phones. Oh, no! I got no idea where he is or where we're supposed to be going, bro! We are the lost! The lost! No problem. We'll just use... a map. Whoa, a paper map, like the early explorers used. Whoa, he's like them uh, Juan Ponce de Leon's. <laughs> So many corners. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it. I'm going to tell you the story of how I formed the Teen Titans. Uh, didn't we do that already? Yes, I remember it very clearly. We definitely did that. I think like twice. Then this will be the third time! I like Relax. hearing about them good oranges. Besides, you told those other versions, this will be my version, and it will be... Serious. So don't expect a lot of laughs from this story, just a whole lot of... Cool. That ain't cool, bruh. Yes, it is! Now, let me set the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. 
I was just a sidekick working for Batman, but I wanted to make a name for myself, and I wasn't sure I'd ever get out of his shadow. The city of Gotham is in your debt once again, Batman. All in a night's work, Jim. But I can't take all the credit. Robin was a big help out there. Oh, don't tell me I missed him. Was he here too? I still am, Commissioner. Who said that? I think it was a ghost. Not a ghost. Just me. Robin, where are you? Just a little to your left. Where? Ah, there he is, in your shadow. Well, once again, Gotham City thanks you, Cape Crusaders. Now, Robin. Robin, where are you? Still in your shadow. Oh. <sighs> it's always going to be this way. Shadows are my thing. I think it's time I stepped out of yours. Your... leaving? It's the short shorts, isn't it? I can get you longer shorts if that'll make a difference. It's not the shorts. Well, maybe a little. I need to find my own city and be my own hero. Good luck, Robin. Wherever you are. I'm still here! Who said that? <laughs> What's wrong with your powers? Shouldn't you be a donkey or something, beast boy? Ha ha ha! I got me some new thinking powers, you little fool! And I have the power of the stretchy body parts! And I can talk to fish! Not now, Jose! So you switched your powers for lame powers? <laughs> That's right, Gizmo! We were desperate for a change! That's dumb! I'll handle this! Stand down, Gizmo! You are no match for me now that I have Superman's powers! Ooh, I sense that you got to wash out for that kryptonite, Superman Mama! <laughs> what are the chances of Gizmo having kryptonite? <laughs> ah! Kryptonite, my only weakness. Why do you think Superman doesn't mess with me? Ah! He's gotta change his back, Mama! We cannot defeat the Gizmo with the terrible powers! Too weak. Can't change your powers back. <sighs> what are we gonna do? Titans, listen! Aqualad, Saturn Girl, Vibe, and Plastic Man might have dumb powers, but if they can use them to defeat villains, so can we! Starfire, slingshot! <laughs> Go! They don't call it break dance for nothing. No thanks, Berto. Who's me? Just one shrimps. No. For me, you do this. I'm a vegetarian, dude. Please, not talking politics. Only shrimp and prime rib. Okay, fine. One's not gonna hurt. <laughs> what am I doing? I ain't no shrimp eater. <laughs> you almost got him, Berto. It's not me. It's shrimps. You know, you're right. Prime rib is pretty good. But when you add shrimp to the equation, something magical happens. Adding the shrimps show you care. It is why no one can resist the shrimps. Ah! What have you done? This is my entire basketball team! <laughs> These shrimps sure are delicious! <laughs> you're monsters! And you're the worst! Okay, what's his problem? He's just mad because Raven don't want to talk to him no more. Raven? I don't have time for dating, you little goblin. I've been too busy protecting the ocean. You can't even stop my man, Bretto, from cooking up your basketball team, fool! Sick burn! I always knew you was too fishy for Raven. Sick burn! Why do you keep saying that? Saying sick burn after a sick burn makes the burn even sicker! Anyways, we out. I'll say hi to Raven for you. Oh, wait, no, I won't. Sick burn! 
Fee? Hey, fish boy, you hungry? I'm afraid you're going to aqua jail for crimes against crustaceans. Okie dokie, okay. The stakes have never been higher. Robin is in the match of his life against his greatest competitor, himself. Can he take this game of solitaire? And the answer is... No, he loses again. And that's okay! What's he doing? He has been engaging in the solitary activities all of the day. That's because I realized I'm fated to be alone forever, and I decided I might as well embrace the lifestyle. So the sad. Yes, very. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to use all of my free time to get my personal finances in order. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Speaking of alone forever, guess who I saw, Mama? Aqualad. I don't care. That's what I thought. You was only interested in one handsome, good-looking dude, and that's moi. Right? You're both knuckleheads. Sick burn! Hey! Sorry, dude, but I gotta call a sick burn a sick burn when I see a sick burn. Oh, man, we ain't get to go to the snack bar, yo. No problemo. One icy cold mega size soda coming right up. Oh, yeah? <sighs> I'm gonna have to pee so hard. I would like the dog that is hot. Coming right up. And don't forget the mustard. Ooh, I love the mustard. <laughs> Mug balls, please. Coming at ya. Thank you. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. Yes, it will be good. In fact, movies have always held a special place in my heart. Ever since I was a young child, I would go to theaters and lose myself in the magic. Why are you doing the non-stop talking? I'm just giving a little exposition so you know why movies are so important to me. Well, it's boring, fool. And we do not care. We only care about explosions. But quiet, the trailers are about to start. I love trailers. I used to live in one. They kidnapped his wife. They broke his plunger. Now, he's going to flush them all. <laughs> Death Toilet 4. This summer, don't leave the seat up. Ooh. This is going to be better than Death Toilet 3! I cannot wait to see the toilet of the death! This is it, Titans! I've never been more excited for anything in my whole life! Jack. You got any bite growler? Are you all bark? Look at them stunts! Those explosions! Oh my goodness gracious! We no longer look like the monsters! This isn't hideous anymore! The script! It's fixed! How is this happening? It's the creative differences. They're making everything better. Well, I'll be. What do you say, Titans? You ready to make the best movie ever? Yeah! Yay! This is going to be fun, yo! You know, guys, I thought creative differences would tear us apart. But in the end, they made us even stronger. Well said, Raven. Now, who's ready to watch this little gem we've created? Oh, yeah! yeah let's do it, baby! I gotta leave my safe and comfortable space and have an adventure, yo. Who are you? I'm your new buddy. We won't like each other at first, but then we'll be best friends. Okay. We are the bad guys, and we want to tell you our evil plan. Yes, we want to take over the world. <laughs> we must be the only ones who can stop them. Action finale! Can't be dead. 
Okay. Wow! Our creative differences helped us to make something truly special. Uh, hello. Did we all just watch the same thing? It was all so familiar. Yes, like the old sweater that brings the comfort. No, I mean familiar in a bad way. We struggled and fought, and the best we could come up with is something completely unoriginal. I know! It's a complete copy of things we've seen before! We made a real Hollywood movie! Hey, who wants to make the sequel? Sequel! sequel!